Welcome to 5.1's Math Moment. Today in sixth grade, students learned about order of operations to solve expressions. One of the things that students probably heard a lot about today was the expression, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which just stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, which go together, and addition, subtraction. With order of operations, here's a few tips that you should remember. Perform all the operations inside of the parentheses, which are going to be the first thing that they're going to do. Exponents would then be next. They're going to multiply or divide from left to right, and then they're going to add or subtract left to right. This part about left to right with addition and subtraction and multiplication is going to be very important when they sort of solve order of operations. For example one, we're going to simplify using the order of operations. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and look at my, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or my PEMDAS. Now, it's sometimes really helpful for students to go ahead and write this down again so they can look at each individual problem and make sure that they are crossing them off as they're doing them. I go ahead and encourage students to go ahead and do the multiplication and division together, division subtraction together, and have them like make little arrows going from left to right. All right, looking at this very first question, the first thing I see is I do have parentheses. So I go ahead and check it off. I'm going to solve in the parentheses first. I have 6 divided by 3, which I know is 2. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the rest of my problem underneath it. And now I need to look at the e for exponents. I don't have any exponents, so I'm going to cross it off. And I need to look, do I have any multiplication or division? I do. I have multiplication right here. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this one. 2 times 8 is 16. Now moving to my last step, addition and subtraction. When I look at this, I do have subtraction. I have 17 minus 16, which is going to give me an answer of 1. It's really important with order of operations to go ahead and follow this every single time because doing it out of order can result in a wrong answer. For example number 2, we're going to evaluate an expression where C is 3 and F is 8. Again, I'm going to write down my please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or my PEMDAS just to make sure that I have that as reference as I'm solving. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my numbers. I know C is 3, so I'm going to write that right here. And then my F is 8. All right. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this with all of the numbers in the parentheses. All right, the first thing that I need to do is I need to look. Do I have any parentheses? I do. I'm going to solve that first. 8 plus 2 is 10. Now I need to see if I have any exponents. I don't, so I can move on to my next step, which is my multiplication division. I do have some multiplication over here, which is 3 times 9, which is 27, minus 10. And then I need to see if I have any addition subtraction. I do. I have 27 minus 10, which gives me an answer of 17. Again, it's really important for students to get very familiar with using the order of operations. Like I said, checking through as they're using those steps is very helpful as they're becoming familiar with the order of operations. If you have any questions about 5.1, see your math teacher.